Welcome back. Good to have you along with us. There's the, the system right there. It is uh, postmarked to Yukon. <laughs> it's coming in to our area probably Thursday evening. All the data so far points towards this front coming in dry, but it's going to be very, very cold with wind chills down to as much as minus 10, maybe minus 15. Yeah, that's for us here in central Texas. Actual air temperatures could get as low as 10 degrees by Friday, Saturday morning, so we'll be watching that very closely as well. It's very dry across the region, at least moisture wise in the atmosphere. Now we had seen a couple of sprinkles here and there, but uh, other than that, you're talking about moisture that's rolling over on top of very dry air down to the surface. That's why we haven't seen much more than sprinkles out of this stuff. Forecast lows for tonight. Mighty chilly. You attack on the wind that we're already getting. Now this feels like it's down in the upper teens. 35 Wednesday morning in Goldthwaite, 34 at Lamp Passes and in Coppers Code. Start your day. Should be about 34 Waco and Lorena, 36 in Temple Belton, 35 for Colleen Coppers Cove. Start the day tomorrow. Tomorrow, by the way, is the first day of winter. Winter will occur at 347 tomorrow afternoon. We'll talk about the solstice a little bit more later. 34 to start your day for the first day of winter in Fairfield. High temperatures tomorrow will only be in the 50s if we're lucky. We'll go 54, 54 in McGregor and about 55 for the Temple Belt and Clean area. Down south, 58 to 59 degrees. Common across the Texas Hill Country, the Austin San Antonio area as well. Still looking at dry conditions, but a bit of fog for Houston Galveston in the morning. We'll warm up to about 57 in Houston, 58 in Alvin and Hempstead, about 58 degrees. The Dallas-Fort Worth area, a little more cloud cover. But again, you're still looking at almost homogenous temperatures across the state with readings getting up only into the low 50s for afternoon highs if you're traveling tomorrow. It's 51 now. The sun, and we talked about this yesterday. We thought the sun could make a little bit of an appearance. The clouds are trying to thin out a little bit. It's not going to last very long. 51 right now, 68% relative humidity. North wind has finally dropped off a little bit, but it was kind of breezy this morning. Partly cloudy. Cold tonight, some patchy fog developing in the late night hours. I'm not going to be surprised. 34 the overnight low. Tomorrow, overcast skies, chilly conditions. Winter begins tomorrow afternoon. We'll hit 55 for an afternoon high. Thursday, the front comes roaring in. 42 degrees, the coolest reading of the early part of the day. 48 will be our high. That'll probably occur before noon, and the temperatures will be falling the rest of the day. As those winds go around the northwest, 25 to 30 and gusty. I'll be out ringing the bell. For the Salvation Army on Thursday morning uh, in the Waco area, uh, Sun Valley Walmart is where I'll be. Friday, yeah, we get a little sunshine, but it's got to be cold. I'm going to go 12 for an overnight low Friday morning. 12 degrees Friday morning, actual air temperature. That's not the wind chill we're talking about. 16 Saturday morning, that's Christmas Eve. Christmas Day, well, we get up to a balmy 35. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be cold this weekend.